Hello. Well, um, <clears throat> today I'm going to begin to discuss uh, the various films from Tarantino. Um, the, the only ones he's written and directed, none of the stuff that he's just either only written or some that he's just produced, you know. And so I've got this here, which has the films from the first 20 years of his career. Um, Reservoir Dogs, Through, and Glorious Bastards. Um, it does have true romance, but again, he didn't direct that movie, so I won't talk about it here. At some point, I probably will. And might talk about also um, Natural Born Killers, and From Dust Till Dawn, and maybe Four Rooms. Um, but today, you know, I'm, I said how I was thinking about going from uh, ranking from my least favorite to my most favorite. And so um, I will just get going with that. And uh, yeah. Um, and with Tarantino, I mean, I enjoy all of his films, so making a ranking where, you know, you go and look at the films he's made and try to rank which ones you love the most and which ones, I guess, we you like, you you enjoy the least, you know, like the ones that you won't watch too often. Um, you know, it, it, it can be kind of hard, um, though for me, what my favorites are uh, sort of jumped out at me, but then the other ones that, you know, look at and, uh, See, you know, which, well, I don't usually enjoy, or uh, not necessarily enjoy, I don't necessarily um, watch these particular films he's made as often, for whatever reason, you know, it just for it just doesn't necessarily, uh, I guess, draw me in as much as some of his other films. Um, and I guess, to start, I'm going to talk about, um, first, uh, Death Proof. Now, um, <clears throat> I do want to preference that this film, you know, is part of Grindhouse, which, uh, this is like the R-rated version of the film, um, whereas this one is, you know, the, uh, extended unrated edition, um, so... You know, there is that. Um, and I have to say, watching it, um, I find uh, watching it with uh, uh, Planet Terror, which comes before Death Proof, I find that sort of works better. I find for me, myself, um, you know, the enjoyment is just more because it's, you know, back to back and you also get to see fake trailers between the films. Um, but, you know, while I don't enjoy this film as much as his others, um, it's still a very good film. You know, I think if, if there's anything I will say that's sort of like a... a bit of a disappointment with this film for me is, you know, it's supposed to be like a grindhouse film, you know, the dialogue is cheesy, and, um, acting, you know, in those B-movie films that, you know, double feature at drive-ins, um, you know, with these films, you know, that's, um, you know, something like this, you know, you're, you go to expect cheesy dialogue, um, production quality not uh, as high as others but um, you know with this film you know it had like a 30 million dollar budget and um, I think with the first half I really enjoy the first half better I think it, that really captures the grindhouse look that you know and I've seen some grindhouse films over the years or films that were you know part of grindhouse uh, like showings and such and um you know, and, you know, they're not necessarily the best, but for what they are, they're fine. Um, 
And the first half I find to really be excellent. You know, stuntman Mike, played by Kurt Russell, he uh, goes around in his death-proof car and, you know, goes and kills people with it. He goes and gets the crashes. You know, we see how he sort of, like, stalks some women. And, um, it's very interesting how sort of, you know, intricate, you know, he sort of seems to be, he seems to be uh, very meticulous in what he does. Um, you know, of course, he always plays it off like, oh, you know, he runs into people, you know, just at a, uh, <clears throat> you know, just... No, oh, hey, uh, I saw you there. Yeah, I saw you. We were here. Uh, you know, I'm not following you, but I'm. You know, this place is just a, we have a small town, so, you know, it's not gonna be like out of the ordinary to bump into each other. Um, and uh, again, the first half I think is excellent. You know, really captures that feel. But then the second half. Um, it sort of loses it, you know. It's very, too, very clean, in the sense like the film, you know, the film was scratched for like the first half, then it kind of gets fine and good, and he's editing stuff, sort of there, like he's like stutters and stuff, and like oh, the film's kind of like having a little bit of a problem with the projector, but oh, it's fine now. But for a bit of a moment, it was kind of like people were saying. Like uh, certain words and phrases here and there, and then the second half it sort of like lost that. You know, it, the scratches were gone. Um, that low quality look of the film was also gone, and you know, um, the script. You know, I think also in the second half is a bit too clean. I mean, you know, the, the dialogue in this film, you know, is does sort of represent. Um, that grindhouse feel, you know, cheesy lines and all that, but, um, I don't know, there's just something about the second half that's kind of like, eh, it was going real well, and then it just kind of like, you know, I don't know, it's just, I, I, I know the kind of stuff he's going for, and, um, and also when you watch Planet Terror, just before Death Proof, if you have, uh, it on DVD, or, like myself, have it on the double feature Blu-ray, and also this Blu-ray set. I've got the unrated extended version um, as well. Um, but yeah, um, you know, first half of the film really goes well with the with the Planet Terror, and it's truly I don't know. It's just a fun watch, but then it's kind of like you know. It's like trying to be more of a normal, typical Tarantino film in the last half, which, um, considering the type of movie this is, is doesn't necessarily, you know, fit with that. If you know that makes sense, I'm trying to explain it the best way possible. Um, but I don't know. Even though I, I, you know, don't watch this film as much as the others, um, it's still a very fun movie. You know, regardless, um, the film has stars, of course, as I said, Kurt Russell, and he has stuntman Mac, and he does a very good job. Um, uh, there's also Rosero Dawson, Vanessa Ferrello, Jordan Ladd, Rose McGowan, Sidney Poitier, um, a woman, that's his daughter, um, and Sidney has... has Spelled S Y D N E Y, so there you go. It's not just his father's uh, name. Uh, Tracy Thomas, Mary Elizabeth Weinstead, and Zoe Bell, who plays herself. And Zoe Bell, if you don't know, she's uh, she was uh, Uma Thurman's stunt double in Kill Bill, and she was in <clears throat> Django Unchained as a woman who um, wore a mask over her face and a very, very uh, brutal scene. And then there is also, and she was also in um, The Hateful Eight in What's Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, so, yeah. Um, you 
know, performances all around are very good. I think, if anything, it's like the, the writing and such and certain choices to have the film not look as scratched and beat up and such for, like, the last half. I think, if anything, that might be part of it because, like, the last half I feel like is beginning to feel more like a typical Tarantino movie, and that's uh, not necessarily supposed to to be the intention it's supposed to be like you know i guess it's this is the movie like what if tarantino made uh, movies back then that were like particularly of the greenhouse persuasion like that's where they would be seen um and for that uh, it starts off real fine but then afterwards it's kind of like eh, it's, you know it's just it, i don't know it, it could also just be me um but that's just my whole thought on thoughts on that overall. Um, and again, the acting is fine, though. I think Kurt Russell is the real standout, obviously. Um, I stuck my mic, the only guy who's in both halves of the film. And um, I think, though, in the second half, you know, we we see him here and there, and it's not until really the last, you know, where he's chasing the girls and and things get flipped on for him you know that things you know for the second half you know he's sort of there but he's just not as you know present like he was in the first half though of course in the first half he was also or a good chunk of it took place at a bar and um where he was able to be there eat and drink with people and talk and that's also where uh Quentin Tarantino has his uh, appearance as Warren, guy at the bar, uh, like seems to own it, runs it at least. Um, it's his bar, and yeah, uh, he's fine in the film. I know there are people who have criticized his acting here and there, um, and he may not be obviously the best actor in his own films, um, but you know, uh, with the small parts that he does have he's fine and also this kind of film i think it all fits you know he doesn't have to do his very best to you know not be you know um uh seen as a, an incredible you know actor uh, you know he's able to sort of just be the character in the sense of just being comfortable it's very you know it's just it's just very uh it's just very fitting it's just the, the way he portrays the character of warren is very it's just it's just very convincing um uh, eli roth is in this film i actually forgot uh he was in it um but he directed uh one of the trailers the fake trailers that come with this um Thanksgiving, yeah, a horror film, which he he's actually working on to get made. Um, you know, the film Machete uh, came from here. Uh, there's also Werewolf, Women of the SS. There's, and, um, you know, it's really cool to watch these uh, fake trailers between the double feature, um, which, you know, with the DVDs, um, they didn't have the double feature, uh, trailers. The fake trailers are on either DVDs, and it's only, like, until, like, the Blu-ray here that that even became a thing. So, you know, if you really want to ha have that experience of watching them back-to-back, -back, as well as the, all the trailers, you really, I guess you'd have to get the, uh, Grindhouse Blu-ray. forget uh, it's been some time since i've um <clears throat> since i got this but i don't believe it was too expensive it was on amazon so um if you're interested and you like death proof and if you have also De uh, planet terror um on dvd maybe you have this on blu-ray maybe you got this on blu-ray on its own um but if you really want to um uh, see the double feature with all the trailers and such 
Um, I do recommend getting the Grindhouse um, Blu-ray. Uh, 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 Rodriguez Tarantino Double Feature Grindhouse. Um, it's very good. Um, I, did, I do recommend it. And again, I do enjoy uh, Death Proof. I think it's a fine film for what it is, but I just wish the, the second half wasn't as polished and the dialogue didn't sound a bit better. I mean, there's still some cheesy stuff said in, uh, here and there, um, but it just doesn't feel as much like a Grindhouse film as, as the film goes on, honestly. Um, but um, that is just me. Um, and I could be alone on that, uh, on that thought. Or maybe some people have similar thoughts. Um, regardless, um, I enjoy this film and I can't wait until uh, next time, which will actually be pretty soon. Um, obviously, it's t today is the, is the first. I'm basically going to go uh, every other day throughout the week. And, the, and what I mean by that is, like, not, not the weekends, um, but Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There's going to be a Tarantino video uh, all month long. So, of course, it's the June 1st. And then the next one I'll make will be on the 3rd, and then 6th, 8th, and... 10th and so on and so forth um so i hope uh you will enjoy this uh, uh upcoming sort of like you know this upcoming uh, series i'm doing or this current series i'm doing um but i hope you'll enjoy it all the same um it's been a while since i've done a series and i thought it'd be better to just do it like all in a month instead of just every week because you know i do want to talk about other stuff here and there and um if i'm only committed to just doing like a a series of stuff like this like someone's filmography or a franchise you know depending on how big that franchise is i would might not want to just uh do the whole thing just have the month feel like that um and for friday the 13th it was like all summer long um when i did all those which that wasn't bad i, I don't believe but you know there were some other stuff that I did have to hold off until that was done because I kind of wanted to keep the rhythm of that going. And that's what I want to do here. I want to just have all this month really just be Tarantino. And so hopefully I'll do a good job in talking about these movies, saying why I enjoy them, and maybe why I might place them where I do. Um, again, I do not at all dislike any of these movies and if one has a uh, enjoys this way more than me and will rank it higher that's fantastic that's great um but yeah um that's really all i have to say uh for now so until next time i hope all of you are uh, doing well hope all of you are having a good week so far hope your week will continue to be great and we'll have an excellent weekend so until next time I'll see you all later.